Hi, Colette Florido with Canna Curious on the CRW Network, and I am here at Broadway Cannabis Market with Joe. Joe is taking us on a grand tour of the dispensary and all the different ways that you can be consuming cannabis. And we're at the dessert portion of this visit. Um, this is the edible section. Oh my gosh, it looks like a, a, a bit of a candy store. candy store over here, right? Yeah. Um, this is like, you know, when I talk to a lot of people, they've either used the flower, they've smoked it, or they've had an edible. But this is just all over the board. What's the difference in what we're looking at here? Because there's a lot. Yeah. Yeah, so um, all edibles in Oregon, they're regulated. No single edible package can exceed 50 milligrams. So most of what you're seeing is gonna be 50 milligram edibles. The difference will be in specifically what kind of food they come in. Whether it's gummies or hard candies or cookies. We even have drinks, little muffins. Pretty much anything you can think of, we can put weed into it. So one of those brownies, it, one of those little uh, muffins here, how many milligrams is that? Yeah, so these guys, I think these come with five. So each one of those would be 10 milligrams. 10 milligrams. Yeah. And you get, and, and okay, let's just say we've never done this before. Yeah. And, and now I want to try an edible because I've heard that maybe it's going to give me some longer lasting effects. I'm yes. not smoking it. Yes. Um, what, uh, what do you suggest somebody starts with? Uh, the first thing to keep in mind is whenever you eat cannabis, the THC is processed by your liver. It converts it into a different molecule called 11-hydroxymetabolite, which can be up to five times more potent for people than THC. Which is why you sometimes hear people saying, oh, I tried an edible once and the room started spinning and I couldn't leave my house. Whereas you hear other people saying, I tried an edible and it did nothing for me. Because again, everyone has their own receptors, their own system. So it really does take some self-experimentation. The idea is to start low and not push yourself too fast. So I would say maybe even if you've never tried it, maybe start with a half of that. Yeah, because you don't want to overdo it. And, yes. and so go low, go slow, right? That's, low, we hear that low, you know? all the time. Yes. And, and how long, tell me again, how long should I really wait? Should Again, it's different for everyone. Some people, they can feel the effects within 30 minutes. Some people, it takes about 90 minutes. So your window is, is pretty big there. So it really does. It takes some. So, so, so minute 61 you're saying I shouldn't have the other half of that just yet, right? Yeah. Isn't that where a lot of the mistakes come in? Isn't that where people are, are saying I, I overdid it and that's what it was? Yeah, people will say I waited an hour, I didn't feel anything, so I took two more and then all of a sudden they get triple hit, yeah, wow. yeah. What is your tip if they experience that? Uh, some simple things you can do if you have some black peppercorn laying around the house, that'll help taper off the uh, anxiety effects. You just take some black peppercorn, um, chew it in your mouth, and it's because of the terpene, which is called uh, beta caryophyllene that you find in black peppercorn. Um, other things you can do is CBD. CBD will counter effect the uh, THC anxiety, and so that works as well. So thank you very much in case you do indulge too much because I can see very quickly if I have a jelly and then maybe I have a hard candy and a cookie here, you're going to overdo it. Yeah. It's going to it's going to go south fast. Um, but I see some of these are not just THC. Yeah. So we have some CBD too. Yeah, this one's just a box. But yeah, 500 milligrams hemp derived CBD, no THC in there, designed purely as medicine. Okay, so no THC, you're not going to get the psychoactive high, Correct. you're going to feel more of that pain relief and, Correct. okay. Yes. And they're finding things, there's still a lot of science that needs to be done. There's a current call in Oregon for more scientific studies on the effects of CBD and THC, how it benefits and affects people. Mm -hmm. So let's keep going because I see a lot of other goodies here. Holy cow, we've got mints, we've got, yeah. what are those? These are going to be chocolate. Oh my gosh. White chocolates. It's essentially these in just a boxed form. Cheese crackers, caramels. These are like gummy pearls. We've got vegan chocolates. They even have protein bars with THC in them. Yeah. 
And they've got cookies and what is that, chocolate? What are the standing up, what is so that? These are like fruit chews. Um, these ones are also specifically, not a lot of companies do this with edibles, but they'll tell you if it's an indica or a sativa based gotcha. edible. Okay. Yeah. So otherwise you don't necessarily know, I'm just going to get a chocolate here, right. but it doesn't tell me maybe if it's a sativa or indica. Right. Yes. Okay. It's pretty, it's pretty rare that you find an edible company that specifies what type of flour you're getting in your edible, um, but some of them do. All right, let's 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 keep going because there's even more. We haven't stopped yet. Look at, there's some really pretty looking wrapped chocolates and fancy, um, more chocolate, right? Okay, yeah, wait, what's this? This is so, different. So these guys are cool. Um, these are CBD based honeys, but they're not actually using cannabis or hemp. They have actually found a specific type of tree bark that has high potencies of CBD in it. And so that's what this company does. They use a tree bark based CBD. Um, it makes it just a lot easier for processing and shipping and handling. And what is it? it it's honey. So what is it? It's a pouch of... Yeah, of just like I think you get a couple pouches of honey, if you can see them in there. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Okay. You could take them straight. Most people, I recommend, you know, mix it into your cup of tea. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Interesting. Okay, now I see some things that I, I know a lot of people are starting to get familiar with. These are some of the tinctures, right? Tinctures, yeah. Tinctures are always going to have extra high concentrations of your THC, CBD. Again, this is pure CBD, hemp-based, no THC in it, whereas something like this... This would be pure THC, and then this would be a balance of THC and CBD. And so you can really dial in specifically whatever you're looking for. And this one, are they swallowing it or it has to go under the tongue? Underneath your tongue, you have your sublingual glands. And if you hold it under your tongue for a good 30 to 60 seconds, you'll get the most uh, absorption and benefit out of it. You can mix it into whatever you want though, but to get the most out of it, holding it under the tongue works best. Um, and then there's uh, just a few uh, different brands there also that I, I see some different flavorings again. Yes. Um, um, probably the thing that people would be most interested in, RSO, this is the stuff that essentially got cannabis legalized. It stands for Rick Simpson Oil. Rick Simpson's a guy out of Canada who started treating people with all sorts of different cancers with his own signature oil. Um, we, we sell it as, you know, again, THC, CBD, one-to-one -one ratios, but it's the most medicinally active form of cannabis you can get. So if you're trying to treat any kind of ailment using cannabis, um, RSO is the number one thing I recommend. Wow, and is this, how is this, how does it look in there, is it's, that? It's kind of, a, it's a little intimidating looking to be honest with you. It tends to usually come looking- It's very like concentrated. A black tar in a syringe. Wow, that looks like uh, something out of an alien movie. <laughs> yes. And then again, the idea is it's highly, highly potent. You would use, again, maybe the half of the size of a grain of rice. Grain of rice. Very tiny amounts. Very How tiny. many, like once a day, twice a day? Depending on what kind of ailment you have, um, I would recommend no more than three times a day. Um, the thing with RSO is when you first try it, if you have no exposure to cannabinoids, it can lay you out for weeks. Like, not if you do it once, but imagine, imagine doing it and over weeks your body gets used to it, it's able to handle the intensity of it, but at first people will report like, oh, it was way too much for me. So again, whenever I was saying go slow and low with the edibles, go especially slow and low with this. Right. Yeah. Right. But but it's it's your power pack. This is the, this is the one. If you're are, like treating themselves and curing themselves and getting the most medical benefit out of. Wow. This is like why we're here. Very cool. And you just see the differences in these colors. You can just see that that sticky looking, that very rich tar like versus the some of the cartridges just very different approaches to um, the medicine intake you're not just going to be smoking it there are other ways at true leave we strive to bring you the relief you need in the product you can trust our products are designed to alleviate symptoms associated with serious medical conditions are you a true leaver 
So what else are, are, are we talking about? It feels like we've covered quite a few. Is there more? Yes. So then we have the topicals. Topicals. Okay. So I don't necessarily know if I want to smoke it, right? This might be the, the approach. I might not want to smoke it. I might not want to do a vapor, um, you know, vape it or uh, any of those other things that you just told me. But I can still try a topical, right? So again, everyone has endocannabinoid receptors in your body. They are in your skin. You have things called CB1 and CB2 receptors in your skin. Topicals bind to those receptors. They give you the relief you get from cannabis without the high. And so for people who want to use uh, cannabis as medicine but don't want to get high, we have lotions, balms, massage oils, bath salts, all sorts of things. Pain stick, I see. Mm -hmm. um, sensual lubricant. Mm -hmm. Now we're getting into uh, <laughs> yeah. some other uses. Again, you can put weed in anything. You can put your weed in anything. It's true. Um, pain stick lotions, um, mini pain sticks. There's just rollers. Any way you want it, you can put this on topically. You can get some relief, and you're not having to ingest it, smoke it. Exactly. Just, it's just not getting in your blood system. You don't have to worry about testing for it, um, and it, they work really, really well. Sure. So those people that are concerned about their their job testing, this is a viable option for you to still get that relief. Um, oh my gosh! I mean, there's just a variety of ways for you to do this. Do you have a favorite when you're when you're saying, okay, it's the end of the night. What what do you what do you do? Uh, well, I became you know i started using cannabis with flour that's still my favorite you know that's the thing i smoke you know a joint or a bowl and that that always just kind of gets me where i'm trying to go i i use all of it though i like everything i like how we have the discreet and the easiness of the cartridges the extracts because you can take one little tiny dab off of that and you will feel high you know for hours and so you don't need a lot I tend to save that more for like if I'm with a group of people and then we can pass that around. Usually if I'm by myself, I'll just be using flour or I'll, you know, munch on a cookie or something. Sure. All right, quick question, favorite strain? Um, it's gonna be called lamb's bread and fun fact, it was Bob Marley's favorite strain. It is the land race from Jamaica. Very cool. And the last thing you would you want to tell somebody that is on the fence, maybe they've never been in, they, they're, they're really nervous. They haven't done this yet. They're not really sure if this is the right way to go. What are you going to tell them? Um, I would say try a topical or try like a CBD with low THC vape pen. They tend to be a little easier on the throat and the lungs. And that way you can get that immediate relief um, that you, would, you wouldn't have to wait for like an edible to kick in. So you can get a good sense of it. Um, and, and you always see return customers with those. Very nice, very nice. Joe, thank you. Oh my gosh, what a great tour. Thank you for the opportunity to come in as a first time uh, user to understand this. Um, I, you guys know you can come to a place like the Broadway Cannabis Market, talk to Joe, talk to his team. They're going to give you information. Don't be afraid to talk with them about what you're trying to accomplish and they can help you find the right strain. He was a wealth of knowledge. So uh, that is an infused lifestyle right here on the Canna Curious Show on CRW Network. Thank you, have a great evening.